Well, everyone, got something quite cool to show in this video, and um, that's this Stanley Fat Max, it's called Demolition Tool. Now, I was thinking for shit hit the fan, I think this will pretty much cover everything. So, just before I talk about this quick, I'll just quickly show you the um, sort of cards you get with it. So it's Stanley Fat Max Fubar 3. So there's a few different like models of this. This is like the biggest one they do. They do like small little like ham um sort of like just regular hammer size and you know all different sort of sizes but this is the biggest one you can get. If you're gonna order one just be careful because when there's a lot of options make sure you are getting what you think you're getting sort of thing. Just double check it. So this particular one is 30 inches overall and it weighs 3.5 kg. You can sort of see here, hopefully, all the sort of different things you can do with this. So obviously in a shit hit the fan situation, I think the sort of sledgehammer and the um, pry bar would be the most sort of used um, parts of this. You can see you've got the uh, Stanley sort of brand in the middle there. And you do have like these nice sort of rubberized grips here, high and low, so you can get a real good sort of grip on it. If you're using it for a sledgehammer, you can hold it lower like that. So, yeah, these are like demolition tools, you know, used for sort of like dismantling pallets or smashing down sort of walls and stuff. But, you know, I'm just trying to think, I'm talking about a shit hit the fan situation here, you know, if you needed to get into buildings or anything like that, into cars, if you needed to persuade someone to leave you alone, you know, that's going to do your job, and so is the pry bar. Now it is heavy obviously, and that's obviously the sort of, well, I don't know if it's a downside because you'd want one of these things to be heavy, but you know, you, you might get a bit tired carrying this around all day, but put it this way, I'd rather have this than not have it in a shit, shit of the fan situation. But I thought it was just quite cool and some of you lot might find it quite interesting because I didn't really know you could get one this sort of size. And if you read the reviews on it, like everyone's saying how well made how well made it is, and it's the sort of thing you don't really know why you bought one, but if a situation ever comes about where you where you need one, you'll be glad you've got it, sort of thing. There's some markings on the actual tool itself. And then side you've just got like a little warning thing on that side. But yeah, really well made, absolutely solid, you know, one piece, so nothing can really break on this. There's some good videos as well on, on YouTube and that of people like, you know, hitting down walls and stuff with this and it, it holds up great. That's quite a meaty end that side as well, you know. That's for like leverage and things, I think, like, you know, pallets and stuff, you get into it like that and pop it up or whatever, but... Hope, um, hopefully in a video soon I'll try and get hold of an old pallet or something and just you know smash the hell out of it or whatever with this but I wanted to show you it sort of um, brand new so you can sort of see what it looks like before it all gets scratched up and stuff now in terms of price definitely shop around a little bit because on the UK Amazon it was around about £120 one of these but I could get it for like £70 if I ordered it from the German Amazon with free delivery as well. So obviously that's what I've done, saved 50 quid. You know, it maybe took like two weeks to get here or whatever, but for a £50 saving, that's worth it in my opinion. So definitely shop around a little bit because you should be able to find, you know, don't go for the first one you, you find because... Prices do seem to vary from 
site to site sort of thing. These uh, handle grips are removable as well, if you ever needed to. So I wanted to do a quick video showing you this, and like I said, um, hopefully soon I'll get a video out of me uh, actually using this on like an old pallet or something. I might try and find like any like old cinder blocks or something lying around, stuff like that, old bricks and stuff, and sort of see what sort of damage this can do. So there was a quick review on the Stanley Fat Max Food Bar 3. Would highly recommend it, you know. It's just a cool thing to have regardless, you know what I mean? So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.